All right, and Paul Barber, he's up on top of the cell, and Wu Tang Man follows him up. Both of these guys up on top of the Hell in a Cell, and this is definitely not a very good place for either one of them. And look at this. Oh my God. Oh. Wu Tang Man so close to falling off here. This. I mean, Paul has been in one of these before. He knows how to work here. He was in one of these at Crashdown, the very first CPV of OFW against Rex Smith. And he barber bombed Rex Smith straight through the middle of the Hell in a Cell. Could we see a repeat here tonight? But wait a minute, look at this! Oh my, oh my god. god! Oh, oh. And look at this. Paul Barber is just. Oh my god. It's like. Uh, this is all the oh, oh my god! Paul Barber off the top of the cell with an elbow drop. Wu Tang Man has just been taken totally out of this matchup. And now Paul Barber with that ring bell. Look oh, at this! Oh my! Close on a few pulls back here, that ring bell! Oh my and god! And now Wu Tang Man knows it and he's going for a submission here, working on that injured back of Paul Barber. I, I'm surprised Wu Tang Man is even able, able to stand at this point, thrown off the top of that cell like he was. Oh my god! <coughs> Just unbelievable here. And the good part about this, if Wu Tang Man wins, it's over. But if Paul wins, it's going to a ladder match. That is getting more and more extreme and now wait a minute what's Paul doing oh no Wu Tang reverses there this has just been an extreme match Michael and I am honored that I can commentate this with you I agree I mean this is just this is making history right here for both RCW and OFW I mean this is going to bring the two leagues together and it's just one of those things to where you know I, I mean I know speaking on my behalf and probably yours too we both would love to see Wu-Tang Man win this match because neither of us want to see the corporation with that HCW world title in their camp I mean that that is just one thing that corporation do not need they've tried to gain, gain control of both leagues and they could very well do it if Paul Barber is successful here tonight winning that title that's right I wouldn't mind seeing Wu-Tang Man win but look at this bro there's roll up and this could be it though! No, only two count there, but Paul has got so much talent. But it's a shame that he threw all that talent and everything away to join a low life group as the corporation. But wait a minute! Look at this! No! Oh my god! Paul Bar uh, Paul Barber just hits the rock or the barber bottom. Oh my god, right there on top of the hill in the cell. This is shades of crash down where he defeated Rex Smith with that same move sending him through that cage and now look at oh. this Wu-Tang Man with a drop toe hold now Wu-Tang Man starting to hold his head here the this effects are definitely starting taking his toll. to show the, the effects are starting to show Michael and look at this he's done it again Pre is an amateur, time here. amateur wrestling move but it is working oh and a big arm drag there what the thing is though this this is Sonic Steel Cage, but wait a minute, no, not again! Oh my god, he just threw Wu-Tang Man off the top of the cell again, and look at this! Another elbow drop! Oh my god! This and is... now we know... Oh, wait a minute, he's not done! Wait a minute, Bob! Oh my god! Barber Bottom, I mean, and now look at this, he's going back to the top of the cage again instead of going for the cover. I mean, this is just... Shocking to me. I think Paul Barber right now, he is just trying to injure Wu Tang. Oh my god! Oh what the hell is he doing? This is unbelievable! He is trying to kill the Wu Tang man here tonight. What the? And again! I, I, I am speechless! Oh my god! And look at this, just taunting Wu Tang man, begging him to get back to his feet and. Here's the cover, and I do believe this is it. Wu-Tang Man. Yeah, Wu-Tang Man could not come back from that. That was just a pure beat down. And now we're in the third fall. Wu-Tang Man's playground now. Wu-Tang Man and Paul Barber both one fall apiece. Whoever can set up that ladder, climb to the top, pull down that newly created HCW title, will walk away the first ever HCW world champion and I'm telling you I'm just we now know why Paul Barber chose Hell in a Cell for his match I mean he just dominated in that match 
Wu Tang Man did everything he could. But it's like you said, Paul Barber is the experienced one. And right now we see Wu Tang Man. He's using the ladder match experience. You now Wu Tang Man, you know, he's been in the ladder match with Mr. T at SummerSlam. So he definitely knows how to use that ladder. As we see right here, already using it for as a weapon. I was going to say, what could really be shocking though if. Paul has never been in a ladder match, so think about it this way: What happens? What happened, What would have happened if Paul, if Paul or Wu Tang, Paul won the first fall, and then Wu Tang Man, this match was second and won the ladder match? Think how Paul would have been happier if the Hell in the Cell was the last match, and if we, and if he did that repeat report, repeat performance that he just did against Wu Tang Man. Exactly. I mean, right now, Paul Barber, you know, he's got the momentum going into this matchup, but Wu-Tang Man is taking it to Paul right away, using those ladders as lethal weapons in this matchup. Paul has not been able to gain any offense whatsoever. And, oh, my God, right to the face here. And here we go, Wu-Tang Man already setting up the ladder, reaching for that title. And he's got a hold of it here. He can just pull it down. Paul Barber has take, been taken out right now. We could be right here in the dawn of of crowning a new champion and no Paul Plus, Barber now he's gonna meet Wu-Tang Man at the top they're in, they're in a dangerous place here Michael they're on top of a ladder and the only way to go is Dan but what the hell is Wu-Tang Man thinking oh my god and yes. this is how Wu-Tang Man beat Mr. T at SummerSlam suplexes him to the outside Paul Barber is out He's trying to get back to his feet. Wu-Tang Man is in the center of the ring. He's pulling, tugging on that title. He's just inches away from winning this match, and Paul Barber sees him. He's holding his ribs. He's trying to get up that ladder. He's I don't know stupid. if he's going to make it in time. I don't. I think... Oh, he's back up. Look at this now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now, if you, say, you could say they're back on an even playing field here again. Both down. But Paul is up now. Man, this has just been an incredible main event for an incredible CPV here tonight. I mean, we have seen so much transpire here tonight. And we are just, it's unbelievable. We are so just a few moments away from crowning the first ever HCW World Champion. I mean, who will it be? Will it be Paul Barber? Will it be Wu-Tang Man? Oh, my God. They are just taking it to each other here. They've given each other all they can stand. And now Paul Barber has been taking out once again Wu Tang Man trying to set that ladder back up. Even though people hate Paul and everything, I you may not agree with me, Michael. You may hate me for saying this, but I have respect for both of these men for putting their bodies on the line just to because they want they show heart. They want this title. Even though Paul's corporation and he is hated, he has shown heart here tonight. Well, I agree. I mean, I, I won't take nothing away from Paul. He's an incredible athlete. He's an incredible wrestler. He's a great sh fighting champion. And, I mean, we see here Wu-Tang Man in the same way. I mean, Wu-Tang Man has been trying ever since RCW's recreation back in June of this year. The Wu-Tang Man has wanted nothing more than to be the RCW champion once again. I mean, he is a former two-time RCW champion back in the original RCW in the late 90s. And he is yet to win that RCW title and this is his last opportunity to win this title I mean if he doesn't win it tonight he's not ever going to have another chance at it I mean yeah later down the road he could try to you know win the HCW title but it's not the RCW title and that is what Wu-Tang Man wants more than anything is to win that title and oh my god and I think he's showing it right here without ring by smacking it into the face of Paul but once again Paul, if I could, has never won the RCW title. But wait a minute, look at Wu-Tang Man here! Wu-Tang stunner out of nowhere, but as I was, as I was saying, Paul is a one-time FW champion, and he will want to be a two-time FW champion, and a one-time RCW champion, and be the new HCW champion. Paul would want it all. And he could very well do it here. Wu-Tang Man's up at the top, though. He's pulling down that ladder, or that title, and now Paul Barber slowly making it up to the top of the ladder. And here we are, back in no man's land. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Oh. 